All right, we are doing, oh, we're here at gotomath.com. I should probably say that. We're doing a definite integration and seven, I already do seven dash two. Hmm. Let me look at seven dash one here real quick. Six x squared plus four x minus six over x to the ninth. Huh. Sorry, I gotta look at something here. Okay. Anyway. Seven dash two. Let's write that one down. The integral of six x squared plus four x minus three over x to the ninth dx. Alright, we got that written down yet? If not, you'll get a second chance here. Okay, I noticed the difference between this problem and 7-1 is the answer, how the answer is written. So, 6x squared plus 4x minus 3 And that's all over x to the ninth. D x. So what we'll need to do first is, is we'll need to break this thing up. It's kind of like a fight. We've got to break it up. So we got uh, 6x squared over x to the ninth plus 4x over x to the ninth minus 3 over x to the ninth. All right, let's put a parentheses around everything there. dx. Now we're going to rewrite again. So we take this x to the ninth and bring it up into the uh, numerator. Um, no, let's not do that yet. Let's. It's really kind of the proper way of doing it, but I'm just like sitting here thinking back at the problem I just did, and I didn't do it that way. We have two x's in the numerator. We have nine x's in the denominator, so we can cancel out two x's and two x's in the denominator. You know, this is kind of one way of looking at this. Um, it's not really the algebraic way, but that's the way I'm going to look at it. So 9 minus 2, if we're canceling 2x's out in the bottom, that's going to be a 7, right? x to the 7th plus, and then we have 4 over x to the 8th, right? Canceling one of those x's out. And then, of course, can't do anything there, right? So we have dx. Now we're going to go ahead and rewrite this again. So we have 6x to the negative 7, bringing this up into the numerator, plus 4x to the negative 8, minus 3x to the negative 9th. And uh, it's kind of a sloppy parentheses there. Now what we can do is finally uh, take the uh, integral, and we'll continue this right up here. And hopefully I'll leave some room this time. Um, doesn't look like it. Anyway, we have 6x to the negative 7. So we add 1 to the exponent. So this becomes 6x to the negative 6, right? If we're adding 1 to the exponent, and then we take the exponent and put it down in the denominator. Right? You should be catching on to that by now. Plus, and then we have 4x to the negative 7 adding 1 to the exponent and then taking the exponent down into the denominator then we have minus 3 x to the negative 8 and putting negative 8 down into the denominator and then plus c and now we'll want to uh, clean this up so we have 6 over 6 that just becomes 1 so we have a negative 1 over x to the sixth, right? Bring this negative up. Then we have four over seven x to the seventh. 
and we have a plus here and we have 3 over 8x to the 8th plus c plus c okay well if we want to get this all back into one fraction we'll need to get a common denominator and this is what I do in this problem so hang in there we got uh, 6x's, 7x's, 8x's so we're going to need to uh, multiply this by an x and the top by an x and then we'll have to multiply this by 2x's and the top by 2x's okay so let's just do that x squared so we get, if we put x squared in the numerator we're going to put it down here in the denominator we got plenty of time right minus and then we have 4 so I'm going to put an x up here in the numerator don't forget the 7 x to the 7th and an x down here plus and of course we don't do anything to this we're just trying to get all our 8's in order here or get all our x's alright so I'm going to rewrite this so this becomes negative x squared over so this is you add exponent 6, 7, 8 so we have x to the 8th so we're getting close now 4x we got to get a common denominator that's what we're doing here and then we have x to the 8th plus of course we didn't have to do anything with this 8x to the 8th plus c now we got to get the coefficients all to be the same in front of 8 here and that means that uh, for example well we'll have to multiply this we'll have to multiply let's see we're going to continue this down here hope you're hanging in there all right okay so we'll have to multiply this by 8 and then this one by 7 but this one will have to be um, 7 times 8 also because we got to get all these numbers to be the same here right okay so we're gonna have uh, 7 times 8 times x squared but you notice I put 7 times 8 in the numerator I gotta put 7 times 8 down here x to the 8th alright so I'm not gonna multiply this stuff out just yet so you can kinda see the big picture so we're gonna have uh, got to multiply 8 times 8 so we have 8 times 4 x over and then this is 8 times 7 x to the 8th plus and then of course we multiply this by 7 so 7 times 3 over 7 times 8 x to the 8th plus c see that alright so now we have a common denominator all the way across so 7 times 8 is 63 now we got this minus sign over here and this is going to be an issue I see coming up pretty quick so I'm about to pull a trick here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull a negative out in front of everything okay actually let's not do that just yet alright never mind so we got minus 7 times 8 is uh, this 7 times 8. No, 56, right? 7 times 8, I think I said it was 63, it's 56. Okay, so we have 56 x squared and then minus 32 x plus 7 times 3 is 21. Now, since we have a common denominator, go on ahead and just write this whole thing over the common denominator which is <clears throat> 56 x to the eighth now I think in the answer I probably take this negative and factor it out but I'm not exactly sure yet so let's remember that and let's now go back negative 56 x squared minus 32 x 
and I think it was minus or plus 21 yeah okay so I went ahead and hit the answer there all right and so there it is can you imagine that so I did factor out the negative so I pulled the negative out which makes that of which just reverses these signs up here makes that positive positive and then a negative right that is 32 isn't it right yeah so I just pulled the negative out and uh, anyway it's something you need to know how to do alright so I went pretty slow on that problem you should catch on to that and practice that come back on over to home home the homeboy anyway go to math.com and uh, good luck